Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play XCOM. <laughs> no, not XCOM. Although, if you don't know, this is actually kind of funny. Um, XCOM squads are actually in this game, in case you did not know. Because uh, Firaxis is the same developers who made Civilization as well as uh, XCOM. So yeah, you can actually get XCOM squads, which would actually be very useful right now. So hi, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently in a bit of a bind, because Mr. Narshan right here, he's about to win the game. I'm not even fucking kidding right now. He's he's actually about to win the motherfucking game. He wins on turn 411 via diplomatic victory unless I stop him. So what I'm actually going to do, I might just buy a nuke. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy a nuke. <laughs> Wait a minute, can I actually launch it anyway? Or <laughs> I don't think I necessarily can. I mean, I can um I can base a bomber. Wait, how, how, what, what's the range on my bombers? I'm pretty sure bombers can carry nukes, right? Let's see, what's the range on this bad boy? 12 range. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, I'm gonna have to need to buy an aircraft carrier if I'm gonna do that. So, I'm gonna buy myself an aircraft carrier. There we go. And then, I'm going to nuke Narsh. <laughs> That's the... That's my plan right now. So I'm going to bring all of my uh, all my fighters and my bombers. I probably don't need them here anyway. And I'm going to rebase them over to uh, over to the other base. That's alt alt error. I, I never remember that key. Okay. Oh wait, I can't. I'm gonna have to rebase them here first. I think. Really? To Pharaoh then. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do this in, in increments. Apparently, it would appear. So there we go. So yeah, um, we need to move, and we need to move really fast. Now, there is one other uh, solution for me that I could actually consider doing. I could uh, try to win the game, like via a conquest uh, victory, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because I can't do that in 10 turns. I mean, it would be nice to try, but uh, it's not gonna happen, so, you know. Anyway, uh, I'm, I think I might just... No, I'm gonna grab accuracy. I, I need to get... I need to get... Uh, Need to get logistics on my rocket artillery ASAP. That's pretty much the only thing that's going to help me right now. But Ephraim, I might be able to kill Ephraim in 10 turns, but I would not be able to kill Micaiah in 10 turns, which is kind of what I need to do. Also, uh, yeah, these destroyers are also going to Narshan. Well, as well as these battleships are also going up to Narshan. I don't think this battleship will, will be relevant in time, though. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him movement, and I'm sure it's all going to try. Alright, we also have uh, some mobile Sams coming in here from the left flank of Ephraim. These tanks are currently running roughshod through Ephraim's uh, lines, so Ephraim's kind of getting his ass kicked right now. Oh, that's Micaiah's units. Never mind. I thought it was something else. Anyway, I'm going to actually send this guy over here, I think, to help out. Because I'm pretty sure I'll take Bethroen pretty soon anyway. Also, I think I have a... Yeah, I still have a bomber over here that I can rebase in Farah. So yeah, I'm going to... <laughs> to try and nuke Narshan. We'll see how that goes. Probably not very well. Um, but, you know, a man has to try, right? Ooh, I like this music. Do, 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 do. It's one of my favorite late game uh, eras. Okay, so I can build new color plants now if I want to, but I don't really see the point. I think I'm just gonna keep building nukes, actually. We have a lot of uranium, so we might as well, right? Yeah, I don't really see the point in building anything in these new cities. I guess I'll just queue up a bunch of happiness buildings to help me out there. I also could use some trade routes. I'm losing 500 gold per turn now, which is actually kind of significant. I guess I could build up some land trade routes. I don't know. Could also build some markets, I suppose. That might help. I don't know. Anyway, I'll queue up some buildings in Odessa as well. All of these one-turn buildings, we can queue them up. Um... I don't really know what to do with these Dragon Generals right now. I mean, I need to take Micaiah at some point. I also need to take Hector, but I'm pretty sure I can take Hector via the sea if I want to. So I'm probably just going to move my Dragon... I, I want at least one of my Dragon Generals up there. I don't know what to do with this other guy. Um, there's really no need for me to fight uh, Lynch anymore, because I've already taken her capital. But I might move Narshan over to Melior so I can help defend that city in case something should happen. Although we already have a Dragon General. I guess we could send this guy over here. Anyway, let's uh, pillage a little bit to get our health up. We're going to repair naturally anyway. Also, this rocket artillery can probably be useful. Yeah, I think so. 
So yeah, uh, <laughs> we are we're <laughs> we're going to reach Narshan's capital in time. I'm fairly sure. Um, okay, he's afraid. That's uh, that's a very unusual motivation. Well, you certainly have grown nice since I last saw you. Surely you realize that your current success is all thanks to I, Gangrel. <laughs> Without me encouraging you at every step of the way, you surely wouldn't be here now, so remember old Gangrel when you go around flinging around weapons of mass destruction, alright? Yeah, he's afraid because we have nukes. That's why he's, uh... Because now everyone knows that we have nukes, and that... Like, the moment nukes enter the field, everyone else gets t afraid of you, pretty much. That's how the civs are coded to be. So nuclear weapons, they can also work as a deterrent, kind of like in the real world. You don't actually need to use them, but you can you can use them to make enemies afraid of you. Which is kind of nice. Anyway, I think I'm actually going to send my, uh, my battleships up to Ephraim right now, because I think I can take... Uh, yeah, Navasa's all the way up here. I need to take that as well. I guess I can send boats around? That might actually work. Anyway, so I'm going to keep this atomic bomb right here. Wait, can carriers just carry atomic bombs? I'm actually not sure. Um, I guess we'll find out. I, I, I think it needs to be... No, wait, it can carry atomic bombs. Okay, that's good then. Let's just send this uh, carrier up to Narsh and then will it get there in time? It should get there in time. Three turns. Alright, I think we need definitely... We definitely need to keep some defense back here. Oh. We can now uh, make bazookas. They're pretty good. All right. So I think, yeah, we'll just keep building atomic bombs. We just want to nuke a lot, really. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, we want to send some bombers for sure, as well as a fighter. Probably a good idea. We can get siege and range, as well as this fighter right here. Carriers can, I think they can only carry four aircraft initially until you give them upgrades. All right, let's start shooting down this uh, city. We might... Uh, we're probably just going to keep it, I think. Yeah, probably. All right, we're going to uh, pillage our way to victory here. There's a landmark, landmark here, which we can seize. And now we have a bazooka as well. I think we should probably upgrade our other machine guns as well. Upgrade... This, this is such a cheap upgrade. 20 gold, I mean... Also, we... I should probably move this engineer down here, come to think of it. I'm not doing anything with him at the moment. Alright. We also have a policy. We have a million policies right now. I think I'm actually just gonna go for, uh... I don't know, Republic, maybe? Just one production in every city? That actually doesn't seem half bad right now. Wow, you know I have a lot of culture when you start to adopt liberty policies in the late game. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a bomber. I want a lot of bombers and nukes. And let's... Oh, Ephraim still has some... Uh, he still has some units over here. Let's kill the artillery. <laughs> Our, nothing can challenge our tanks at this rate. Alright, let's grab another nuke. <laughs> oh. So I think maybe what we can do right here is we can uh, we can grab some land trade routes in the Long Fort just to trade with some of the peaceful civilizations that we don't really have any we don't really have any uh, anything to lose by trading with them right now. We might might do some land trade routes because. I don't think there's many sea trade routes for us to get right now. Also, we should probably upgrade this guy to a bazooka. Anyway, I definitely plan on taking Cast Lostia by sea. So I'm moving a big majority of my fleet over here. And we have another tank. Uh, yeah, he can join on the attack on Ephraim. There we go. Also, it seems like we are not able to steal anymore. Cannot steal technologies from Burn. Well, I know. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, that's right. I sent a, uh, a spy off screen up to Taras to get some vision. So it looks like I will be able to kill uh, Taras. <laughs> Our people are now buying your blue jeans and listening to your pop music. I worry the rest of the world will also succumb to the influence of your culture. I am actually sort of winning a culture victory here. What the hell? Yeah, I'm influential with Plague and Burn right now. I'm not even focusing on tourism, but I am generating 368 tourism per turn. Which is kind of hilarious in a way, but uh, yeah, there you go. Sephiel winning a tourism victory. Well, I'm, I, there's no way I'm going to win it, of course, but it's still a little bit hilarious, I, f I find. Anyway, let's upgrade these guys. Bazookas are really good, actually. They got 80 combat strength. They're really fucking good. It's like a Lynchus moving some uh, 
rocket artillery around here. Is she planning to help her mount? I would be very, very silly if she did. Alright, should we just build a manufacturing here? Fuck it, let's do it. We also should repair these tiles. Should we just get a bunch of workers on here? I think that might not be such a bad idea. Fuck it, let's do it. We have tiles here that needs repairing. Let's build two workers and have them repair. Let's build a worker here as well. Still need workers. <laughs> Might as well just build some workers. Alright. Uh, siege. Probably a good idea. Uh, we have a lot of bombers on, in the west right now. So I don't think we need to move them any further. And uh, should, what kind of trade rest do we even have available? Let's check. Oh, a lot apparently. Holy shit, it's cost, costing the game to lag. That's how many. Holy shit. Okay, so from burn to cast Lostia by sea. How about the land trade routes? From burn to Plagia Castle. It's pretty good. Let's uh, send this guy to burn then. We don't want to trade with Ostia. Because we plan on attacking Hector soon anyway. Alright. Let's move in. We have a... Is this, does this guy have promotion? Yes, he does. Yeah, this is a rocket artillery with range and logistics. So that's really good. Alright, I don't think there's any units to kill right here, so I'm just gonna send this tank over here to join in on the attack on Ephraim. I don't even know why I have mobile sums. It's not like Ephraim have air units anyway, right? Okay, so let's send some of these bombers to join. Oh, that's right. I can only carry two units initially, can I? Oh well, that's good enough, I guess. <laughs> oh, we're gonna nuke the shit out of Narshin. What the fuck is the rocket? Oh. Oh, right, right. It's moving in to attack Narshan City. We gotta have a destroyer nearby as well so we can actually take it. This is very important. Alright. Uh, infantry. Let's grab... Uh, what should we grab here? Medic? Might be a good idea here. Let's kill these infantry. I don't think this tank has splits. No, he doesn't. Alright, Patron will, will fall sooner or later. I don't... Uh, actually, this bomber is kind of useless right now. I think I'm going to send him back again. <laughs> I mean, what's the point, right? I thought I thought the carriers could carry two units, but that's only with upgrades, so... Anyway, we got the battleship right now outside of uh, Taras. We just got to make sure that Narshin doesn't settle any cities, so we got to intercept any settlers we can find. Yeah, here we come. The denunciation from Alinsha. Not that I care. Peace treaty with Marth? Oh, uh, I didn't even know we were at war. Okay. <laughs> I I didn't even know. Alright, you go and repair. We have more bombers joining the front lines right now. We have airports in most of our cities as well, so that's pretty good. Can we attack this city? Yes, we can. Alright, Adlas is falling. It would have been nice to have a dragon general over here. But I guess it doesn't really matter. We can probably take the city now if we want to, but I think I'd prefer to just root out all the units that I can find right here. It's stupid how good these tanks are. Holy shit, they're so good. Holy shit. These <laughs> Imagine once these, once these guys promote into modern armor. They're going to be absolutely fucking unstoppable. Alright, I don't think Narshan has any ships, but I'm just being very paranoid right now. I don't care if he calls me out on it. Alright, carrier moving into position. And now we're just waiting for the peace deal to stop. Can we not go through here? Oh, wow. Looks like Mart's spawning rebels. Can we give him... Oh, that's right. We Now we can't advance any further because we don't have open borders. All right. Go into the sea then, for fuck's sake. I don't think these rocket artillery are going to get her in time. So it's probably going to be completely pointless. All right. Go to the Longforge. There we go. And Murdoch has finally rejoined the front lines. That's nice to see. I think we had a promotion right there that I that I forgot about. All right. So what more? I don't. Okay. Now we actually need, really need gold. So we actually need to do this right now. Um, we actually really need gold. Anyway, let's go and repair. What kind of gold can we get? We can get 18 gold. That's good enough for me. We have minus 500 per turn, though. That's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I need to kill more units. I need to kill more units. <laughs> Holy shit, I need to kill more units. 
This is absolutely insane. I need to buy, like, gold buildings right now. Maybe I just need to set my cities on gold focus. To be fair, I think that might not be such a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. All the cities I have on gold focus. There we go. And, I don't know, just create wealth. We don't... We can't really afford not to create wealth right now, because if we if we do that, our soldiers are going to start... Or if we start to lose soldiers now, this might just be GG for us. To be fair, we're not fighting enough wars. We need to fight wars to keep our economy stable. I don't actually mind losing a couple of units right now, as long as it leads to... As, lo as long as it um, reduces my income. Anyway... Next to city, and let's keep moving on. We gotta, we gotta keep killing FRMC units to generate gold. <laughs> Alright, go and repair. And keep sending caravans. Looks like Bird is where we want to be right now. Oh, we can keep, we can uh, rebase our new bombers over here, that's great. Okay, is there even any point in sending this rocket artillery out? I can get there in three turns, that's good enough, I suppose. Alright, we probably want to have like a safe distance between us and the nukes though because we don't don't want the nuke to, to target our own ships right we have only have two turns to kill narshan so we got to make the most out of those two turns there we go pillage pillage nothing can stop these tanks they are fucking unbeatable and now we're gonna kill ephraim's capital it's probably gonna fall rather quickly i thought ephraim was kind of scary with all these units but he didn't end up being all that dangerous really Send these guys to Atlas. And I think Patron just fell. There we go. And this rocket artillery now has promotion. Jesus, that's good. Okay, we'll keep this destroyer far, far away. It has eight movements, so we can go into capture. I'm not sure if a nuke is going to leave the city vulnerable enough to get taken over. It doesn't always... It, it's not always the case, but a, a nuke usually leaves the city low enough so that it dies immediately, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to take any chances. Alright, just stay on wealth production. Same in same in the city, really. I, I can't really afford to do anything else at the moment. I just I just have to make produce as much wealth as humanly possible. We're up to a thousand gold now, so that's good. We, we gained a lot of gold from attacking our friends, so that's good. What's going on over here? Anyway, I'm going to keep these units outside of Kals Lostia, because I plan on just attacking Hector's capital as soon as possible. Oh my god, that's... that's not good. Alinsha just took the border. I need I need open borders. What? Seriously, you, you, you can't do this. Alinsha, please. You can't, you can't cut me off like this. Ah, oh, okay, I think we can still go around, because there's still three turns. So, we can keep this carrier here, because we can launch the nuke anyway. But this is actually kind of scary. If she he grabs this border too, she can actually, like, box in Narshan's uh, city. Which would be really bad for us. Anyway, lol, barbarian. Barbarians. Didn't know there were still barbarians in this game. Anyway. Onward. Heal up, and then carry on. Do -do -do. Still a functioning road here, so that's good. That's right, this bazooka is training up in the Tower of Volney. Cute. Bomb, bomb. So I think once we're once we are done taking uh, once we're ta done taking Border Milan, we can probably move up. And oh, we're gonna have to fight through a lot of cities. I mean, maybe it's better to go via Port Toha. If we build an air airport here, which I think we have, do we have an airport here? Uh, do we have... Yes, we do. So we can airlift our, our forces up to Port Portoa, and then we can just attack Navasa directly. I think that's actually a lot easier to do. We should probably do that immediately, to be fair. Yeah, that's that's probably what we want to do. Alright, tank. <laughs> starting, starting to get the drill promotions now. Oh, this is... Yeah. Is it safe to actually attack the city? It's a costly attack. I'm just looking for stragglers to pick down at this point, so... But yeah, I can go and uh, pillage this uh, citadel. I could probably have used that citadel, actually. That was a bit of a stupid move on my part. Anyway, let's attack Border Milan. We have a lot of bombers, so let's just start bombing it. Oof, we are taking a lot of damage, though. Holy shit. 
Then we can keep this guy on intercept. Yeah, once we declare, I think we can probably use this uh, citadel right here to just hold out. Because Mikaya, once we declare war on Mikaya, she's probably going to come at us hard. So we can keep her off bay. I think she has a lot of units, actually. So we can keep her at bay there, and uh, then we can launch an attack on our capital, and hopefully that's going to be enough. But yeah, I think I'm going to... Melior, I need an airport in this city, actually. Where do I have airports? Airport... I think Alpea has an airport? Yeah, okay. So we're going to send our units over here. Maybe... Yeah, we're going to send the destroyer up here as well. I really hope Elaine Shed will not declare war on me right now, because I do not have time for this shit right now. Alright, we'll send the bazooka as well. We'll send all the forces we have in the area, pretty much. Even the Dragon General can join in. Yeah, tree gold per turn, why not? <laughs> Wait, Elinch just declared war in Narshan? Really? Oh! She might fix the problem for me then. Okay! Look at that! <laughs> that's, uh. That's, that's hilarious. Anyway, let's start airdropping uh, units over here. Really like airports, they give you such fantastic mobility. And I think at this point we'll just build manufactories. We don't really have anything better to do. Ba, ba, ba. Can we rebase our bomber here? Yes, we can. That's good. We have another bazooka. Let's send him up as well. And oh no, there's no there's no airport in Illustal, but there's a there's an airport in Longfort. No wait, there's no airport here either. Okay. <laughs> All right. As you wish. But yeah, the stand against Alinsha or against Mikhail will probably happen here. I'll fortify someone up. I'll, I'll go and repair this uh, citadel right here. I think, actually, Alinsha is looking to take Ephraim as well, so I'm actually going to surround him. Uh, I don't want her to take the border of Milan, so I'll, I'll stay around here. Airdrop. We don't. We don't need all these units up here. We, we actually need them to. I think there's. Is there a limit to how many units you can airdrop per turn? I actually never really checked. So we probably want to. Hmm, airport in Nilistal wouldn't be the worst either. Wow! Look at all these fucking barbarians. <laughs> There we go, and these workers can just go on automation. They finally, they finally return home now. I don't know why these guys can't airdrop. It's probably because there's too many units around here. That sounds about right. There might be a limit, actually. I, I never really checked. Anyway, you can go on wealth production. It's kind of funny that Alinsha declared war on Narshan. I did not expect that to happen. But I don't necessarily think she's going to take a city away, so it's still important to do it. Alright, just going wealth. So now we're not losing as much gold as we used to, which is good to see. Althea doesn't have an airport either? So why exactly can I not airdrop? I guess I'll figure out. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> he wants to pay me money to get an embassy. Garangrol, it's cute that you're still in this game, but... You're a mistake. Alright, so peace treaty expired. I, I think that's my peace treaty. Yes, okay. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Um, Narshan. Oh my god, does he win next turn? Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't... Oh, fuck. No, it's two turns. Two turns from now. Two turns from now. So... Alright, let's start moving towards Alinsha. And just, let's just heal these guys up while we're here. Okay, so, yeah, let's just declare war on Narshan immediately. I am strong, I am wise, and you are nothing compared to me! Grovel at my feet, worm! Alright, so, of course, for this, we will turn animations on. Because this is amazing. We gotta be careful, though, we don't, we don't want our own ships to be caught in the blast. I think this is safe. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's go. <laughs> Boom! Come on. Where's the animation? Ah, oh, what? It bugged. Hate when that happens. So basically, that happens sometimes uh, whenever you drop a nuke. Well, at least we got confirmed that it seems like a nuke does not completely destroy the city. Okay. Man, that's that's really disappointing. There we go. Anyway, we'll take the city next turn. Da, da, da. I don't even know why I bothered to bring a bring the uh, <laughs> rocket artillery over here. Let's send this uh, bomber up to Meliar. We have another atomic bomb, actually. I think I'm going to rebase that over here as well. We might be able to nuke Mikaya. We can nuke her with the... Oh, oh that's right. The, the Narshan music loops a little bit oddly. I reacted to that last time as well. But we'll kill him like exactly one day before uh, before he wins the game. So that was literally on the turn, guys. Like, had we been one turn slower with the peace treaty, would have been uh, would have been a GG right there. Anyway, there we go. Got him. I actually kind of want that. Um, hmm. I kind of want that, um, worker, actually. Hmm. But I'll send my tanks down. They definitely need to attack Navasa, because Navasa's pretty much, yeah, Navasa and Castle Ostia are my last targets right now. We'll definitely, uh, maybe we should just get a nuke going in Kaelin as well. Ah, might not be such a bad idea. We could definitely nuke uh, Cast Lost, yeah. We can uh, we can build an atomic bomb and then we can grab ourselves. Say instead of a bomber, we can we can just build it in five turns. We can put our city on production focus. We still aren't working any of these citizens. Maybe we should. There we go. Anyway, let's just go on wealth production right here. Yeah, I think we're actually going to move this atomic bomb over to Kaelin, and then we can nuke cast Lostia. We could, like, send a lot of nukes over there. I honestly don't care if, uh, if Alinsha manages to... Uh to take Narshan City, as long as Narshan dies, that's really all that matters. Anyway, we got a battleship here to help us against Ephraim. Also, I'm, I think I'm sending this carrier down here now. Five turns. We, there's nothing else to do up here, so we can just start sending our ships down. Now we we're amassing a pretty big army over here. Should be enough, I think. Yeah, so we got we got the destroyer right here. So Narshan dies next turn. One turn before Oh no, Alinsha! <gasps> Did she just fucking block me? No. No 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 no. That is not happening. That is not Alinsha just blocked me. No. You okay, I have to declare war on her right now to take Taras. I'm sorry, Alinsha, but you just blocked me. You just fucking blocked me, Alinsha. Oh my, no. No, 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 no. Ephraim's in, no. You, no. No. No, 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 no. No, no, this, this is not happening. This is not happening. This is, this is not happening. No, 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 no. I think we have one extra turn. 
Oh my god, Narsha. Alinsha fucking blocked me. She just fucking blocked me. This is really, really bad. Okay, now she's going to start attacking me as well, so I need to send my units up here to help. Oh my god, this is so fucking dumb. This game is so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll move the atomic bomb up here. We'll keep training. Oh my god, this is so fucking utterly... I think we have enough units up here now, actually. We can probably start to rebase some of our other bombers. There we go. And we're sending this guy onto the front lines as well. Uh, yeah, there's, there seems to be a limit of how many units you can actually airdrop. Makes sense, I guess. You can't just airdrop in infinitely. Well, okay, so I am not going to be able to kill this, in other words, unless I do something about it. And now Alinsha's going to start blocking me as well. So yeah, unless Alinsha manages to take Narshan right now, we have actually lost the game. Narshan's on one health. Like, she can just walk in and take his... She can, she can she can she can literally just walk in and take his stuff. Please, Salinsha, please take his please take a city and eradicate him. If you don't Okay, she did. <laughs> oh my god, one turn away from losing. And here comes the vote. Wait a minute, I have ten votes? You gotta be kidding me. How did I get 10 votes? <laughs> what? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna vi I'm gonna win a diplomatic victory. Really. A dip diplomatic victory, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Alright. Fine. If we're gonna win a dip diplomatic victory, at least I'm going to get my money's worth. And I'm going to nuke Navasa. <laughs> Alright, atomic bomb, let's go. <laughs> okay, please don't dud this time around. I wanna see Navasa get nuked. Wee! No, come on. Did this one dud as well? What's wrong with the animations? I wanna see the nuke. Well, at least we get to see the devastation, right? At least we get to see the devastation. I think we have another nuclear bomb as well. Yeah, we have an atomic bomb right here. Uh... Ah, that's right, you don't even need vision to nuke. I thought you needed vision to nuke. I guess... Joke's on me, right? Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the nuke animations in this game. Might be the mods that's screwing it up. There we go. Now everyone's dead. Do we have any more nukes? Should have built more nukes. Uh, yeah, we have one more. Where's that? <laughs> this is a message from Lord Nurgle. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna nuke my own capital. Humanity must be stopped. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm giving the world over to the dragons. <laughs> this is what happens when Cephiel rules the world. <laughs> oh my god, this is absolutely fucking hilarious. Right, I definitely want to turn off animations and all, oh, if not I'm gonna have to sit through an entire fucking face of animations. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so, um... I just, uh, I just nuked the world. And because I've been so diplomatic, it seems like we're actually going to win a diplomacy victory. Wow, she actually took back her city. You triumphed over your foes through the art of diplomacy. Your cunning and wisdom have earned you great friends. <laughs> <laughs> a leader 
Super Broad Beast. <laughs> this is too good. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will forever be remembered as the leader who brought peace to a weary world. Alright, that was an absolutely hilarious game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much to the creator of the mods. I hope you guys enjoyed watching your mods being played. Um, this, this, this series is very popular, so you can definitely expect another one coming down the line for sure. Um, so, uh, so do, do definitely expect that. I'm not really sure what kind of mod I'm going to be playing. I know that Hector is very popular, and I think he's been fixed. Um, I heard that some people were a little bit tired of autocracy games, though, so maybe you want to see me try to, like, go for a culture victory or something with, uh, with a modded uh, race, maybe, like, a Smarth or something. I don't know. Anyway, just let me know in the comment section what you might be interested in doing. Uh, just come with suggestions. I might create another straw poll with different leaders to choose between. I just saw on the Civilization uh, or Fire Emblem subreddit that there's an Alphonse and uh, whoever, that other blonde, her haired girl. Or yeah, Alphonse. Now that's the heroes, guys. Uh, I saw that they had created another Civilization mod, so that, that might be funny. I might try that one out. So yeah, at any rate, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed the hell out of this uh, playthrough. This is probably the wackiest game of Civ I've ever played. Uh, I'm really happy with how it ended. Narshin came one so close to winning. So close, but in the end, I snatched the, the diplomatic victory away from him. <laughs> you know, next time if I play without City States, I'm probably going to turn diplomatic victory off, because that's absolutely silly. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed this game. As always, my name is Vinmangs, and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.